Let's solve this Olympian equation on the board quickly. It says 2 raised to the power x plus 8 raised to the power x is equal to 130 and we're going to solve for the value of x. Now first thing we can do here is that we can write this equation as so we can say that this is 2 raised to the power x plus now 8 is can 8 can be expressed to be equal to 2 times 2 times 2 and 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 2 raised to the power of 3. Hence, 8 can be written as 2 raised to the power of 3. Okay? And raised to the power x is equal to 130. Moving on from here, we have that when you have a raised to the power m or raised to the power of n, it's equal to a raised to the power mn. And if you recall, Multiplication is commutative, so we can have that this becomes equal to a raised to the power n or raised to the power of m. Okay? Now, using this analogy here, we are going to have that 130 now becomes equal to 2 raised to the power x plus 2 raised to the power x or raised to the power of 3. Moving on from here, we can say let's 2 raised to the power x equals y. Now we have 130 to be equal to y plus y cubed. From here we can say y cubed plus y is equal to 130. Now factoring out y here we have y into y squared plus 1 is equal to 130. Now, let's find the factors of 130. 130 is equal to 65 times 2. Okay, it's also equal to 13 times 10. 26 times 5. So these being the multiples for, for 130, we're going to check which of these will substitute for y here to give us a perfect answer. Now looking at this, we have that from here now, the most suitable answer we have here is this. Given that 5 squared is 25 and 25 plus 1 is 26. So we can say that from here, that y is equal to 20, is equal to, rather, is equal to 5. Okay? Now this is just one of the answers for y. How do we get the rest of the answers for y? Yes. So moving on from here, we already have that y is equal to 5. If y is equal to 5, it means that y minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, this equation says y cubed plus y is equal to 130. This means that y cubed plus y minus 130 is equal to 0. Okay? Now, dividing this equation or this expression, by y minus 5, we have, using the long division method, y into y cubed is y squared. y squared times y cubed minus 5 is y cubed minus 5y squared. When you subtract, we have plus 5y squared. And then we bring down plus y. 5y squared divided by this is plus 5y. 5y times this is 5y squared. 5y times this is minus 25y. When you subtract, you have 26y minus 130. 26y divided by y is 26. 26 times y is 26y. Minus 26 times minus 5 is negative 130. So that this gives you 0. Hence, the other factor for y is y squared plus 5y plus 26. Okay? So let's do that now. So having factorized this expression to this, 
We can now say that this is equal to zero because every product of two things are equal to zero. Is either the first one is equal to zero or the second one is equal to zero. If the second one is equal to zero, we have that y is equal to five, which we had initially in the beginning. Now, if the first one is equal to zero, we have that y squared plus five y plus twenty six is equal to zero. Okay. Now, y will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, a is 1, b is 5, c is 26. y will become equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared is 25 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 26 is minus 104 divided by 2 times 1 is 2. And this is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 104 is 79. Divided by 2. Okay. Now, it means that y will be equal to minus 5 plus or minus 79. Okay. This is root of 79. I, because the root of negative 1 is I all over 2 or y is equal to 5 so it's either that y is equal to 5 or y is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 79 i over 2 thanks for watching guys if you made it to the end please like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys